County Attorney's Office has just updated its investigation into a woman's stabbing death in northeast Cedar Rapids. Devonna Walker died in the stabbing at an apartment complex on January 2nd. Police detained two people after the stabbing, but let them go. Well, County Attorney Nick Maybegs tweeted a statement late this afternoon to say he's been in constant communication with police about this investigation and continues to try to get in touch with potential witnesses. Once our office has made a decision on how to move forward, I will share that information with Devana's family. I will then announce the decision publicly. I expect to have enough information to be able to make a decision by the end of February. Today's update from the county attorney comes a day before a planned protest for Devana Walker. That protest scheduled to be held outside Lindale. Was out there just like the George Floyd video was out there. It's live in your face. Prosecutors filed criminal charges today, nearly two months after a woman's stabbing death in northeast Cedar Rapids. For weeks, local activists have been calling for the arrest of a man involved in the fight outside an apartment at the Cambridge Town Homes. It started with an argument on January 2nd and ended with 29-year-old Devonna Walker stabbed to death. Now 37-year-old Shane Teslick is charged with voluntary manslaughter and disorderly conduct. A week after the stabbing, TV9 received this video showing the fight among three people, with Teslik identified as the person standing in the doorway. At one point, it appears to show him shouting a racial slur at Walker. She runs up behind the other person involved, a woman, which is when it appears that Walker is stabbed. KCRG TV 9's Molly Swain is live in the studio after hearing from the prosecutor and an activist. Lynn County Attorney Nick Maybank said this was a complicated case, especially considering Iowa's stand your ground law. I also spoke to one of the activists who said they're pleased, but that an arrest is only the start. Okay, so this case wasn't normal. When asked to explain why charging Shane Teslick in the fatal stabbing of Devonna Walker wasn't a cut and dry decision, Lynn County Attorney Nick Maybanks pointed to the video recording of her death, a video that both shows Teslick shouting a racial slur at Walker, but also her initiation of a physical fight right before she was stabbed. The video does quite clearly show that Miss Walker was a voluntary participant in this, in this altercation. Um, and did play a role in it. Because of that role she played, that made the analysis more challenging. While Maybanks' office investigated, protesters took to the streets calling for an arrest, saying that Walker's killing was a racist act and claiming that an arrest would have been made if circumstances were different. If Devonna was a white female and, and Shane was a black man and he and it, the situation was turned around, do you think this type of stuff would be going on? It wouldn't have took for us to fight as a community to get him locked up like this. Jermaine Cooper has been at many of the protests. Monday, he said he was on the phone with Walker's mother after the news of Teslick's arrest. She can rest. You know, I told the family, y'all can rest. Cooper and other advocates believe it was their work that brought attention to the case. Nick Maybank said, stated that it wasn't for the protests or, or the news views for, for him to get um, uh, convicted, but I, I think it was because nobody was talking about this. Maybanks maintains the protests had no influence on his office's decision. I'm no stranger to public pressure. I've been doing this for 23 years, and one thing I've learned is that you don't make decisions based on public pressure. I respect the right of the protesters to protest and to express their grievances with the criminal justice system. However, none of that played any role in this decision. While the two sides don't agree on whether protests had any influence, they both have the same goal in the end, convict Shane Teslick. Our office wants to prosecute people and I just ask the folks who are out there protesting and the community as a whole to support us so we can stop this violence together. Oh yes, I'm, I'm, I'm very pleased, but like I said, this is just the beginning. Teslick is in custody in Clay County. He'll be transported in the next few days to appear in a Lynn County courtroom. Once he appears, there will be a decision about whether he'll be held on bond, and if so, how much. Charges against a man accused of killing Devonna Walker in early January. Shane Teslick faces voluntary manslaughter and disorderly conduct charges. On January 2nd, witnesses say Teslick yelled a racial slur at Walker while they were outside the Cambridge townhomes in northeast Cedar Rapids. Video shows her charging another woman involved, and Teslick then allegedly stabbed her, which led to her death. Since that stabbing, there have been protests calling for charges to be filed in this case. 
Lynn County Attorney Nick Maybanks now joins us live. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having me. Protesters, one of their biggest issues was the time it took for charges to come in this case. What made this case different for your office in terms of that timeline? So it was different, but it also wasn't uh, unique in any way either. You know, when serious crimes like this happen, we want to make sure that we get it right. We want to make sure that we interview all the witnesses, gather all the relevant information before we make that important decision to charge somebody with a crime. In this case, there was a lot of work that needed to be done even after that initial incident. And so we took our time and we gathered all the information we needed. And um, quite frankly, this timeline really wasn't extraordinary. Another issue we heard from protesters, as you know, is if the roles were reversed, say a black suspect had stabbed a white person, there would have been an arrest sooner. And protesters pointed specifically to cases like Ahmaud Arbery, Tyree Nichols, George Floyd. What's your response to that? We absolutely push back against that. So the Lynn County Attorney's Office and the Cedar Rapids Police Department stand up for victims, black, white, brown. We hold people accountable to commit violent crime in this community, black, white, brown. We approach every case in the same way, victim-centered. And that's what we did in this case. And uh, although I do empathize with uh, some of those national, nationally known stories mm -hmm. and understand the sensitivity folks have to that, in this county, it just doesn't happen that way. And we have a very strong history, and I could point to several cases, where uh, the roles were reversed. And we did take our time, just like we did on this, and got good results. In another racial factor in this case, which became widely known because that video was out in the public domain, was the use of the N-word, a racial slur used uh, ahead of the stabbing. Your office has denounced using that language, but there were no charges related to that. Can you explain that? So in this case, uh, we accused Shane Teslick, which I will note he is innocent until proven guilty in this case, mm -hmm. with voluntary manslaughter. That's a homicide charge. In Iowa, there is no hate crime for a homicide charge. Um, the charge that we filed against him is a Class C felony, and every hate crime that would have been available to us would be actually a lesser penalty than that. So we charged him with the maximum penalty that we could under these facts. So why not a murder charge in this case? So that's a good question, and um, I don't want to get too much into the, the factual um, details of the case. That mm -hmm. will all come out uh, when and if this case goes to trial. Sure. But the evidence, as we looked at it and reviewed it, supported that this was a crime that was done uh, under a heat of passion, uh, that uh, involved a sudden irresistible impulse, and that there was also serious provocation that was done in this case by the alleged victim um, initiating a fight with Mr. Teslick, and that fits squarely within the definition of, of voluntary manslaughter. Well, Lynn County Attorney Nick Baybanks, we appreciate you coming in today and explaining all this. Thank you. Thank Thanks. you for having me.